with Ross from Blade Electric Vehicles and Ross is going to tell us a little bit about the story behind this really interesting car. Roger, thank you for that. The, uh, the car that Roger is referring to is called the Blade Runner. It's an all-electric vehicle. In other words, we have absolutely no petrol. It's totally battery powered. The car has a range of 120 kilometers in an urban setting. It can travel at naught to uh, 60 kilometers in just over seven seconds. And uh, it takes eight hours to recharge overnight, although there are also fast charge options available. The uh, main components of the car is the controller. The controller takes out DC power directly from the batteries, inverts it to three phase AC power, which then travels down to the motor. Uh, in addition to the controller, we have a foot peak 40 kilowatt motor, and uh, the top speed of the car is 120 kilometers an hour. So you can go electric, you can go green, and still have performance. But what about things like power steering and air conditioning? Well, we have those as well. So you can drive this car through an urban environment, you have the comfort of power steering and air conditioning. Um, I have been asked often, uh, does the air conditioning and power steering reduce range? It does, but not by much. So if you were to have your air conditioning running permanently, you'd probably clip about eight kilometers off your range. So yes, you can have your cake and you can eat it too, including glowing green. So how does it comply with Australian design rules? And because there are rules, aren't there? Absolutely, Roger. Thanks for asking that question, because our predecessors have failed at this point. And the reason is that uh, they've endeavoured to build cars from the scratch up, and that's difficult to do and comply with the Australian design rules. What we've done is something quite different. We've taken an existing car, in this case the Hyundai Getz, and we've retrofitted that to electric drive. Now, we're not the only people to do that. Mitsubishi is doing it with its Merv, uh, Subaru is doing it with its R1e, uh, Nissan is doing it with the Renault Megane. So retrofitting is the strategy of the day with electric drive. And can you show me, so we're uh, quite obviously it means that you can plug this into the power point at home. Is you can right? plug this in right next to the toaster and recharge your car. So what are the costs of running it compared with running it on petrol for example? Well that's an excellent question. Uh, the City of Melbourne has had one of these cars now for a month and they've been running trials and they've confirmed that it costs one dollar per hundred kilometres. A dollar per hundred, so ten cents a uh, no, a dollar per hundred. A dollar. One dollar per 100 kilometres. This is the most economical drive of Incredible. And it's homegrown. And it's green. Homegrown and green. Well, look, thank you very much, Ross. It's an excellent, uh, excellent, just innovation, isn't it? Thank you, Roger. We appreciate that.